Ever wondered why some people seem to achieve their goals effortlessly while others struggle? The answer might lie in our brains. Welcome, friends, to a fascinating journey into the human mind and its powerful relationship with goals. Goals, those lofty aspirations we set for ourselves, are more than just wishful thinking. They are critical components of our personal growth, helping us to stretch our boundaries, challenge our limits, and ultimately shape who we are. But what makes some of us more successful at attaining these goals than others? What's the secret sauce that transforms these abstract aspirations into tangible achievements? To answer these questions, we turn to a man who has dedicated his life to understanding the intricate workings of the human brain, Dr. Andrew Huberman. Dr. Huberman, a distinguished American neuroscientist and professor of neurobiology at the prestigious Stanford School of Medicine, has made significant strides in the field of neuroscience, particularly in understanding how our brains interact with our goals. His groundbreaking research provides us with a new lens through which to view our personal and professional ambitions, revealing that the secret to achieving our goals may be rooted deep within our own minds. Through his work, Dr. Huberman has illuminated the neural pathways that guide us towards our goals, showing us that our brains are not passive observers in our quest for achievement, but active participants, directing our actions, shaping our decisions, and influencing our outcomes. So, let's embark on this journey of discovery together, as we delve into the fascinating world of neuroscience and its implications for goal-setting and achievement. Let's explore how we can harness the power of our brains to not only set our goals, but also reach them. Remember, goals are not just dreams floating in the ether of our imagination. They are concrete destinations for our brains to navigate towards. Goals are the compass that guide us on our journey of personal growth and achievement. They are the landmarks that signal our progress and the destinations that mark our success. Goals are not just dreams, they are destinations for our brain. Let's delve into Dr. Huberman's research to understand this better. Dr. Huberman's work can seem complex, but it all boils down to understanding how our brain functions. Let's unravel the brilliance of Dr. Andrew Huberman and put it into simple terms we can all comprehend. His work primarily focuses on our brain's response to challenges, its unique way of measuring progress, and its knack for recognizing milestones. Firstly, when we encounter a challenge, our brain isn't initially daunted. Instead, it's intrigued. It's like a puzzle waiting to be solved. This is the reason why we feel a surge of energy and focus when we start a new project or set a new goal. The brain loves a good challenge, but how does our brain measure progress? It's quite fascinating, really. Our brain has a built-in reward system. Each time we make a stride towards our goal, our brain releases a dose of dopamine, the feel-good hormone. This is why we feel a sense of satisfaction and happiness when we cross off a task from our to-do list or achieve a mini-goal. It's our brain's way of saying, good job, keep going. Now let's talk about milestones. You see, our brain is a great fan of milestones. They serve as markers that show us we are on the right path and they act as a motivational booster. When we achieve a milestone, our brain celebrates this victory, reinforcing our motivation and determination to reach our ultimate goal. But all this understanding of how our brain works would be pointless if we didn't discuss the importance of action steps in achieving our goals. Dr. Huberman stresses that action steps are the fundamental building blocks of any goal. They break down a seemingly monumental task into manageable chunks which our brain can easily process and tackle. So, in a nutshell, Dr. Huberman's research is all about understanding the intricate workings of our brain and using this knowledge to our advantage when setting and achieving goals. The more we understand how our brains function, the more capable we become in harnessing its power to achieve our aspirations. Understanding our brain is the first step towards setting achievable goals. Now that we understand our brain better, let's explore Dr. Huberman's tools for setting and achieving goals. First up is directed visualization. Imagine a painter in front of a blank canvas. Before the first stroke of paint hits the canvas, the artist visualizes the finished picture. 
This is the power of directed visualization. It's not just about dreaming or daydreaming, it's about creating a clear mental picture of your goal and the steps needed to achieve it. This mental rehearsal primes your brain to execute the necessary actions. In fact, research shows that visualization can improve performance, enhance motivation, and increase the likelihood of achieving your goals. Next, we have variable reward timing. This is a fancy way of saying, keep your brain guessing. When we reward ourselves predictably, our brains get bored. However, when we introduce variability in when and how we reward ourselves, our brains become more engaged and we're more likely to stick with our goal pursuit. This tool leverages the power of dopamine, the brain's reward chemical, to keep us motivated and focused. The final tool is optimizing the physical environment. This might sound like a no-brainer, but the environment in which we work towards our goals can significantly impact our performance. A cluttered workspace, for instance, can lead to a cluttered mind, making it harder to focus. On the other hand, a well-organized, distraction-free environment can enhance focus and productivity. So take a moment to assess your environment and make necessary adjustments. Remember, your environment should serve your goal, not hinder it. These tools might seem simple, but don't underestimate their power. By incorporating directed visualization, variable reward timing, and an optimized environment into your goal-setting process, you're not just setting yourself up for success. You're turning your brain into an ally. You're harnessing the power of neuroscience to make your journey towards your goals more efficient and enjoyable. With these tools, we can turn our brain into our biggest ally in achieving our goals. Goal setting is surrounded by many myths. Let's debunk them with Dr. Huberman's research. Now it's time to dispel some common myths about goal setting and achievement. In the process, we'll use the findings of Dr. Andrew Huberman, an esteemed neuroscientist and professor at Stanford School of Medicine. Our first myth is that goals should always be big and audacious. While it's true that setting high aspirations can sometimes push us to achieve more, Dr. Huberman's research suggests that setting smaller, more attainable goals can often be just as effective, if not more so. By breaking down our larger aspirations into manageable steps, we can create a series of mini-victories, which provide a constant stream of motivation and progress. The second myth is, the more goals, the better. In reality, having too many goals at the same time can lead to mental clutter and lack of focus. As per Dr. Huberman's findings, it's more beneficial to focus on fewer, more meaningful goals that align with our values and priorities. This allows us to invest our energy and resources more effectively and increases our chances of success. Another myth is that failure is a sign that the goal was not meant to be. However, Dr. Huberman's research argues against this notion. Failure is often an integral part of the learning process and a stepping stone towards eventual success. Instead of viewing it as a setback, we should see it as an opportunity for growth and improvement. The final myth we'll tackle is that you should keep your goals to yourself. While it might seem logical to keep your ambitions private, Dr. Huberman's research suggests that sharing your goals with others can actually increase your commitment and accountability. This shared sense of responsibility can be a powerful motivator in your journey towards goal achievement. So there you have it. Four common myths about goal setting debunked with the help of Dr. Andrew Huberman's groundbreaking research. By understanding these misconceptions, we can approach our own goals with a more informed and effective strategy. Armed with the truth, we are better equipped to set and achieve our goals. Scene script, understanding is the first step, but action is the key to success. Now that we've delved into Dr. Huberman's research and explored his science-backed tools, it's time to take the leap and start applying these strategies to our lives. Whether you're aiming to run a marathon, learn a new language, or even just read more books, these techniques can be your guiding light. Let's start by taking an honest look at our goals. What is it that we want to achieve? Remember, it's crucial to define a clear, specific objective. Once we have that, we can start to break it down into manageable chunks, creating a roadmap of milestones along the journey to our ultimate destination. Next, 
Consider the challenge level of your goal. Is it stretching you, pushing you to grow, but still within your reach? If not, adjust it until it does. The goal should be ambitious yet attainable, a delicate balance that keeps us motivated and engaged. Then, think about the measurability of your goal. Can you track your progress? Can you see how far you've come and how far you still have to go? If not, find a way to quantify your progress. This will help you stay on track and keep your motivation high. Now let's talk about action steps. What do you need to do today, tomorrow, next week to move closer to your goal? These are your stepping stones, the actions you must take to make your dream a reality. Make a list, write it down, and then start ticking things off. But it's not just about the steps you take, it's also about the environment you're in. Optimizing your physical surroundings can have a huge impact on your performance. So, create an environment that supports your goal, that makes it easier for you to take those necessary steps. Finally, remember to engage in directed visualization and utilize variable reward timing. These techniques will help you stay focused and motivated, maximizing your chances of success. With these strategies, you are not just setting goals, but paving the path to achieve them. Remember, your brain is your best tool. Use it wisely.